It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy 20 trips around the Knoxville Raceway because race fans, this is what you saved your lunch money for. Your field to the green at Knoxville. Trong gets a great start up front. He'll show the way in turn number one. Going to be nearly three wide entering turn one for a second. Now McCarl slides up in front of Han. That's that'll watch. Now race for the lead in the back straightaway. Into turns three and four. Brown going to peel it down to the bottom side of the speedway. Throws the slide in three and four. You'll be your race leaders that come around to try to complete lap number one. A little bit of bumper tag just outside of the top five. Garner going to escape that in the 40 as they work into turns one and two. Brown with the lead. Trong running a second. Wayne Johnson. The Knoxville Raceway veteran, currently second in national tour standings, up into that third spot. McCarl back into fourth. Hahn shuffle back to fifth. Hahn. Back to that battle going on for third, though. McCarl has reeled in Wayne Johnson one more time, right down to the inside, side by side, coming off of four. McCarl to the inside in the 24 of the Country Builder. Sears World Telephone Company number 24 going to take the spot away. Johnson up to the cushion again, still nursing an injured back from a wild flip at the start of July. Got to gather back up up whoa, to the cushion whoa, over big turns one and over two. There in turn number one and two. Sorry, Brian, they went around and up and over. Now three cars involved late in this one. And Heskin, the one upside down, you can see on the impact 4800.com big screen. Caleb Johnson also involved in your quick timer tonight. Kelby Watt also stalling up there. I believe those are two original cars involved in that one. And we get ready to go back to green. Seven laps completed of 20. Brown off of turn number four. We're back underway. Brown shows the way. Great start for the top two cars entering turn number one right down to the bottom side. McCarl goes up top. Doors open on the bottom for Trump for a quick second. He will have a bit of a run here. Battle going on with that top spot and behind them for fourth as well. Great racing going on in turn three. Got a pair of battles working in a turn three and four. Wayne Johnson under fire from Linton Jeffrey. Johnson across the racetrack. Jeffrey down to the bottom side of the speedway. They nearly tap tires here on the front straightway. It'll be Linton Jeffrey taking the spot away. Now Clint Garner going to squeeze oh so close between the 49 and that inside berm. And he's going to take the spot now under fire. Wayne Johnson's got company once again. It's going to be McCarl going to be up top looking for a run off of turn number two. He'll find it. Still can't quite get there. Trom stronger on the bottom side of the racetrack. Meanwhile, behind them, Wayne Johnson is caught back up to Clint Garner entering turn three. Terry McCarl entering to the middle of turn number three. Let his swing out to the cushion. The exit of turn number four. Now going to take over the second spot. Dives it down to the gutter as they work into turns one and two. Missed the line. Trom not able to get down and get underneath the McCarl. Set her sideways and dared him to make a move. Two laps remain in this one. And Brown continuing to work. The high side of the speedway, 4.117 seconds. The advantage over Terry McCarl. Great battle again with Kale Thomas and Kyle Larson down the back straight away. Larson looking to the top side. The white flag's out that time for Brian Brown as Larson and Thomas continue to duke it out, moving up all the spots they need here for points on the final preliminary night up tomorrow. But Blackjack over in turn three and four coming around. Off of turn number four, he'll make it look easy on night number two of the 360 Knoxville Nationals. Blackjack Brian Brown's going to victory lane. Waiting for some guy called Brown to go downtown on that Casey's top wing. Come on, Knoxville, Brian Brown.